Hi everyone, it's Mark Carp, personal trainer at Have Heart Fitness, based in Eastbourne, East Sussex. So I'm a private gym and it helps men and women over 30 live happier and healthier lives. So today's video, I've got a lot of compliance complaining that obviously they get really tight upper backs, uh, tight through the shoulders, and complaining obviously of backache, um, from sedentary jobs sitting down a lot of the time, or there's not moving around a lot. So we're just gonna try and focus on opening the upper back and get you more flexible to take the pressure off around the top back of the traps in the middle of the back as well, the uh, T-spine and just in between the shoulder blades. So with the rhomboids and with the lats all come across. So I just want to try and flex through that area, get the spine moving better, get the muscles to release and not holding so much tension. So they might be long but they're very tight, we're getting lack of blood flow to the muscles, so we're going to try and stretch through the muscles and then open up the spine at the same time, okay? So uh, I'm going to just show you against the wall. So what we're going to try and do is just like a cat stretch, so obviously we're a cat or a dog when it stretches out and curls up through the spine, just trying to get the spine to move better so it flexes better. Um, so what we're going to do is place the hands on the wall. You're going to take basically two steps away from the wall. And what we're going to do, we're going to push our bum behind us. Okay. Then we're going to reach up. And from there, all I want to do is come down first of all, curl up through the back and look up and just relax as you're doing this stretch. So I'm just relaxing my upper body, curling up and I'm breathing out. Just get the body to relax. You can stretch up, stretch it through the lats. It might be tight in the back of the shoulders, in the middle of the back. Where you'll feel it is where the muscles are going to be tight. You're just trying to relax through it. You're just going to hold that for 30 seconds. And when you come back down, just drop down slightly, scoop back up and come back up. Okay? So just trying to open up all the shoulders, open up the middle of the spine, get the spine to move better so it's not so fixed and tight. And we can generate a lot of pressure on the top of the traps and cause headaches. Um, and obviously lack of movement in the neck as well. So we're just gonna try and release that pressure. So if we're sitting down a lot, uh, or we're driving around a lot, head can come forward so we can crane forward a lot. Everything becomes really short and tight. So we've got that upper cross syndrome, everything's forward. You know, all the muscles in the back are really, really tight. But there's no circulation getting there, so this really helps. Um, also, there's another one you could do if you can't get into that position. And what you do is put the hands in the back of the head, back of the cranium, so bottom, at the top, it's behind the ears, elbows against the wall. The same kind of technique, so we can push down and through and just stretch. And just breathe out and gently just stretch. And just stretch through the neck. So try to extend the neck and just look it up. Just breathe out and relax. You can hold it 30 seconds. Gently come out of that. Stand back up. So I'm going to do each one for about 30 seconds. Gently stretch into it, get your body to relax. Try and breathe through the diaphragm, not the chest. And then from there, you can pick that three or four times. It takes a lot of pressure out of the back. And it stops the shoulders from rounding and coming forward a lot. So there you go, mini strength exercise we've done before with the bands, which you can watch in other videos. Um, but this is just about getting the muscles more flexible and taking that pressure out. And again, don't forget, we go against the wall, make the W position, keeping the core tight, and then from here, you're going to breathe in, and breathe out, and just stretch up the wall while you're breathing out. Try and keep the forearms against the wall all the time, just breathe out and just tend to relax. And breathe in and come down again. Keep your heels against the wall, keep your bum against the wall, keep your back against the wall and your head. So back to the bunny point here, or the tuberosity point there, it's just literally just keep that against the wall. Chin forward and down, and then get the shoulders moving better. So I get more range of movement in there, just try and keep the forearms against the wall. Okay, so you can do those exercises, that's kind of a strength exercise, we're trying to open up the shoulders. Alright, so I hope they, that works for you. Again, let us know, leave comments, leave likes on the post, um, and I'll put more stuff out there to help you guys. So this is obviously what I've experienced through clients and people coming to the gym, um, and myself when we're sitting down a lot, just trying to help you feel more flexible and just less pressure in the neck and stop those headaches. Okay, thanks for listening guys. I leave comments and likes, and I'll speak to you again soon. Take care, bye.